What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the Witches Festival which starts October the 21st at 10 a.m. Eastern and runs until Tuesday, November the 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, to participate in this event, all you have to do is go to the holiday section of the Crown Store and acquire the free quest, the Witches Mother's Bargain. If you have done this quest in the past, you do not have to do it again. So if you've already done this from years past, it'll be fine. You will have the whistle in your inventory or in your mementos. But if you have not done it, once you do the uh, event or once you do the event quest, you will get the whistle. This whistle is actually the thing that gives you the two hour 100% XP buff. Uh, all you have to do for this is, of course, just pull it out, use it uh, like anything else, like the cake, pies, you know, everything that you probably participated in throughout the year. Uh, through all the other events we have that have the double XP. But once you use the whistle, you will get a two hour 100% XP buff and it can be used as much as you want during this event only. You also summon the Witch's Cauldron, which the Witch's Cauldron will transform your character into one of the undead. Just keep in mind, the Witch's Cauldron is kind of for fun, something, you know, to kind of turn yourself into undead, you know, Halloween theme, all that kind of good stuff. But what gives you the 100% XP boost is the whistle itself. Just remember, if you are in PvP, you cannot use that cauldron in Cyrodiil. During the Witch's Festival event, you defeat monsters to gain your reward. You can get Plunder Skull containers, which may have fragments from the new Witch Tamed Bear Dog Pet. You combine 10 of those to uh, craft that collectible. The Hollow Jack style items, Dramora style items, Witch's Festival themed recipes, some Bewitch Sugar Skulls, all that good stuff. A lot of those recipes people want will be in this event. Witch's Festival themed furnishings and furnishing recipes, some alchemy things, and of course, assortment of creepy and valuable items even better the first time you slay each different type of boss you will receive a special dramora plunder skull that can contain the above items plus a chance to include some additional rewards too like dramora motif chapter pages with uh, witches festival writs which you can do uh, and if you complete them you'll get the achievement that can grant you the witch's hat collectible and the witch title of course some treasure maps uh, some armor outfit styles things like the grave dancer and a few others, a new Marshmallow Toasty Treat Emote Rune Box, and a new Bonefire Memento Rune Box. Also, depending on the type of boss you defeat, is where you will get your different Dramora motif pages. So final arena bosses drop the Bows and Legs, Dark Anchors, Geysers, and Craglorn Focus Points, and Harlow Storms, and Zone Dragons, uh, like the Zone Dragons in the different areas, will drop the pages for the Daggers and Gloves. Delve, boss, Delve Bosses, excuse me, will drop the Stabs and Belts. Final Dungeon Bosses will drop the Helmets and Maces. Public Dungeon and Imperial City Bosses and Quest Bosses will drop the Shield Pages and the Boot Pages. The Final Trial Boss will drop the Sword and Chest. And World Bosses will drop uh, the Motif Pages for the Shoulders and the Axes. So no matter what you do in game, you will get always be getting some type of Motif Page. Of course, you know, some people that may not place some of uh, some of this stuff may be wanting some of the pages you have. So a lot of people do a lot of trading selling during this event. So just keep in mind, all of these pages come from different individual bosses in game. In addition to the above goodies this year, they're adding a new daily quest called titled or called uh, plucking the crow. This quest will be available each day from the witch mother who is in, of course, the brewery or at the tent in Tamriel with the event vendor. The daily quest charges you with collecting 50 cursed feathers found within plunder skull containers. Once you have collected all 50, you can transform them, uh, transform them into something to transport yourself into a special realm to battle a new world boss monster. And of course, after that, it just says, good luck. They're not give us too much detail. I guess they want to kind of be a surprise because this is something that has not been in, in the event before. So make sure you're going out and doing all your, you know, killing your bosses and stuff, getting those skulls so you can get those 50 feathers daily and go, and so you can go fight that new world boss. Also during this event, there will be event tickets. You can earn up to two event tickets from the first boss monster you defeat each day. This will allow you to be able to get 26 tickets total. Of course, they will have the, uh, all three Morpholite pet fragments, the Deadlands Flint of the Striker and the Smoldering Bloodgrass Tender. The first two fragments for the Doom Char Plateau. So this is going to be the quarter four uh, thing we can morph our unstable Morpholite into as my dog is snoring in the background in case y'all hear her. Uh, and of course this is going to make the uh, the house that I know a lot of people are looking forward to. One of the big houses we're getting for free. And this is the first time or we can get some of the 
parts or the fragments for that house. Of course, you also can get Marshmallow Toasty Treaty Moat, the Witch's Bonefire Dust Memento from the event vendor as well, fragments for the Witch Tamed Bear Dog Pet, a host of spooky furnishings, group repair kits, and Witch Grab Bags, which contain collectibles from previous Witch's Festival events. So this is a pretty cool event. A lot of people like the Halloween Festival, mainly because it's one of the a few events we get each year that has the XP bonus. But also, it's a, a pretty cool time to do some things. Uh, they have some new house or some houses that come out every year just at Halloween that are for sale. So if you're into housing, check those out. The Witch's House is for sale. There's a lot of stuff that goes on during this event. And of course, Halloween's a lot of people's favorite time of the year. I really like Halloween. I like all the decorations, you know, and things. Just out in, you know, people's homes and kids trick-or-treating. So Halloween's a really cool time for a lot of people. And of course, Zoss does a great job with doing a Halloween-themed event in ESO. So... Let me know, guys, if you ever participated in the event before. Let me know if this is your first year for, in participating. Are you looking forward to the new house? Are you looking forward to the new, of course, kind of quest we get where we can go into another realm to fight a new world boss? Leave me all your comments down in the uh, comment section below. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.